the babul tree talk about trees in class 4 in the lesson a visit to the garden we learnt about different kinds of trees do you remember the trees in the garden yes teacher there were mango trees neem trees jamun trees banyan trees people trees gulmohars bakul trees jarul trees and rain trees very good children Have you seen a babul tree? Yes, teacher. I have seen a babul tree. Can you tell me about it? It has small leaves and big thorns. Teacher, what are thorns? In Marathi, we say kata. A thorn is small and sharp. That is tikshna. It is also stiff. That is. kadak Even the rose plant has thorns they can hurt when you pluck roses You are right Riya Teacher it has small yellow flowers That's right Sameer Teacher In my village my grandparents brush their teeth with small babul twigs Great children you know a lot about the babul tree In the next class we will read about a babul tree that did not like its leaves or its thorns But before that let's learn a few more words When there are a lot of trees in a place What is it called? Teacher, is this called a grove? Yes, Ahmed. It is also called a wood or a small forest. In Marathi, a grove is called a rai. So, where there are lots of mango trees, we call the place a grove of mango trees or a mango grove. There are two more words that appear in the story of the little babul tree. The words thief and stole. Can anyone tell me what these words mean? Yes, teacher. Thief means chor, one who takes other people's things without asking them. Stole comes from the action word steal. Steal means taking somebody else's things without asking them in marathi we say chori karne we use stole when we talk of something that happened before now in marathi stole means chorle chorun nele very good jenny can you make a sentence with stole and thief yes teacher This thief stole my slippers from outside my house yesterday. Now, here's one last phrase. Sprang up. Do you know what that means? It means to jump up. Excellent. I just sprang up from my chair. Children, Write these words in your notebooks. Tomorrow we will read the story of the little babul tree.